So, Draven, this is the League of Legends champion from Noxus I am going to be covering today. So if you don't know, I go through a Noxus champion every single week. Last week was Darius and the week before was Cassiopeia, I think. So this week is Darius's brother, Draven. So what am I going to do? I love the animation. I'm going to go through his story. In fact, no, he doesn't have a story. I'm going to go through his bio. I'm going to go through his skins. I'm going to give him my top three skins. I'm going to go through his champion theme and also his spotlight. And also if he has any, some special interactions as well. I'll timestamp the whole thing as I always do. So yeah, let's kick things off with the bio for Draven. Let's go. So Draven, the glorious executioner and keeping true to his title. Look at that there. An axe or a sword or whatever you want to call that in the back of someone's neck. Nice. And Draven is obviously pretty happy about that as well. So let's crack on with the bio. As an orphan, which we found out because obviously his brother was an orphan as well, Darius, on the streets of Bastich. Draven was headstrong and full of bravado, frequently getting into vicious brawls with older street children and shady underworld thugs. While supremely confident in his own ability, some would say overconfident, it is unlikely he would have survived childhood had it not been for his older brother Darius, who invariably finished the fights Draven started. Hmm. When Bashlich fell to the warriors of Noxus, the brothers came to the attention of the captain named Cyrus, after that will made an ill-considered attempt on his life. Impressed with the fighting spirit, Cyrus allowed them to join the Noxian ranks. For years, the brothers fought as part of Cyrus's war host, yet while Darius took to the, this life easier, Draven grew steadily more bored. His martial skills was beyond question, but the daily drudgery of soldiering felt like too much effort for too little reward. And not enough personal glory. Hmm. Darius never inevitably rose to command his own warband, and Draven joined him. However, it if he thought that would be easier or a way to achieve greater individual recognition, he was sorely disappointed. Some say Draven chose to leave Darius's command. Some say he was forced out. Either way, his skills were, were highly his skills were highly sought after as a champion and duelist, and he was enticed to join a succession of warbands during the occupation of Ionia, before ending up with a fairly respectable contract in the Reckoning Pits, which ties in with the cinematic for two thousand and twenty. Oh no, two thousand nineteen. Awaken. For centuries, the gladiatorial reckoners had performed a vital role in Noxus, punishing criminals and setting disputes settling disputes between the noble houses, and Draven was determined to receive the richest admiration and renown he felt he deserved. However, with long protracted wars on many fronts, the spectacle was beginning to lose its appeal for the common citizen. As the attention of the crowds drifted, Draven felt fell into a slump, spending more and more time in the steedier drinking holes and gambling dens of the capital. He was washed up and broke when the former general Jericho Swain found him. Swain had a plan to reclaim Noxus's lost glory and needed Draven's help to achieve it. Perhaps Swain only enlisted him as a way to ensure his brother's Darius support after the fact. It wouldn't surprise me knowing Swain. Regardless, Draven provided proved integral to Swain's plan to depose the, ge the Grand General himself, Borum Darko. Standing triumphant with Swain, Draven smiled for the first time in months, really, as the cheer of the Noxon people washed over him, but duty cold. In the days and weeks following the unprecedented, was unprecedented coup, many among the noble elite refused to honour Swain's succession, so they were sentenced to death in the arena. <laughs> I'm sure Draven's going to have some fun here. One condemned man escaped his handlers ahead of his ex execution. Operating on pure instinct, as was even his... As even... As was even... His wont. Draven leapt from the high balcony and hurled a pair of axes at the fleeing man. It wasn't Riven. Hm. Cutting him down in a heartbeat. After a moment of stunned silence, the crowd roared their approval. Draven revived his, uh, uh, retrieved his axes, which is probably this guy, spinning them high in the air, playing his new, playing to his new fans and savoring their rapturous applause. Thus, Draven became the glorious executioner turning routine bouts into grand spectacles that drew ever larger crowds. Just such I want to pause here and I'm thinking, this ties in even now, this ties in perfectly, doesn't it, with the 2019 Awake cinematic, because in that, there's a gladiatorial arena. He's clearly bored. He's bored of what's going on, which ties in a little bit with this. Then he finally sees a challenge. He sees Riven. Riven obviously showcases her skills without a weapon, and that obviously that piques his interest. He thinks finally there's a, there's someone um, who is actually competition, and then obviously we know what happens next. So soon enough, an enterprising and diminutive promoter tried 
tired of paying to house, feed and train reckon as all of them to die in front of dwindling audiences, approached Draven with an idea. What is that idea? What if the drama of the classic pit fights could be combined with Draven's natural showmanship? The Reckoner quickly became the Reckoners quickly became entertainers as much as combatants, each with their own carefully constructed backstory, fighting style, and flamboyant personality. <laughs> like WWE, but that sounds really <laughs> The fights okay, apart from that. The fights were often bloody. This was still Noxus after all, but far less often ended in death. The rivalries, trash talking, and intrigue between the best known reckoners became a stuff of legend throughout the Empire, but none was talked about more than Draven. For a time he lived the high life, receiving invitations to never ending streams of parties and banquets, mixing with the welfare and influential of Swain's new Noxus. He never reconciled with Darius and would occasionally still march out with the war host, defeating enemy champions and generals in single combat. Nevertheless, Draven had started to grow restless once again. He was all that could he had he has all that he could have ever imagined and more, but now dreams of a day when the whole world knows his name. <laughs> okay. Right then. I like how there's a difference between the brothers. Not not miles apart. Both savages, obviously, both fearless, but one of them's more for Jupiter, which is Darius, and he's more for himself. One's more for the party, and one's more for the individual. Uh, but that was good. Good to obviously read about um, Draven and his backstory. No surprise to find out, obviously, all he cares about is, him, is himself. And interesting to find out there as well who this poor soul is. This person here is one of the people that clearly escaped in the bio as well. So, what am I going to do now? I'm going to go into the skins. Let me go through the skins and I'll give you my top three. Let's go. Okay, so Draven. So this is his... Let me see that. This is his base skin. Nice. In Noxus, warriors known as Reckoners face one another in arenas where blood is spilled and strength tested, but none has ever been as celebrated as Draven. A former soldier, he found that the crowds uniquely appreciated his flair for the dramatic, not to mention the spray of blood from each of his spinning axes. Addicted to the spectacle of his own brash perfection, Draven has sworn to defeat... Whomever, I'm laughing because I just, just reminded him of Draven Mix. Or Dra yeah, Draven Mix or Draven Mix. Whoever, uh, whomever he must to ensure that his name is chanted throughout the empire forevermore. So this is his base skin. Let's have a look at the next one. Soul Reaver. Now this is what we're talking about. Soul Reaver. Nice. We've got different voice filter, additional quotes and no special effects. That's nice. No, no actual law to that one though. Okay, cool. Gladiator. <laughs> So we got Gladiator Draven as well. No law to that one, but that's kind of self-explanatory. Yeah, you wouldn't want to go up against him, would you? You wouldn't want to go up against Draven like that. So the, <laughs> prime time. So I saw a bit of prime time when I did the review on Darius because he was a dunk master. Down in the bot, down in the bot lane, we're seeing a se uh, seminal performance from Draven, already bullying both opposing laners into the turret. There's the dive. Draven picks up the support kill. Turret fuses to aggro, aggro him. Out of respect, there's a double killing. Yes, the turret has self-destructed in terror. Massive will play by Draven. Let's see it again. You can imagine Draven get you as a, like a sports analyst, got you, or commentator. Hmm, great. Okay, so that is that one. And his microphones are his spinning axis. Interesting. So we have Pool Party Draven. So here is Pool Party. His sunscreen smells like a tire factory and he keeps shouting about how good he is at everything. But the real kicker is that Draven never gets sunburned and he is legitimately good at everything. It's a terrifying marriage of skill, unblemished skin and well Draven. <laughs> okay, so that's Draven there at the top. Nice, you got Munda, Lulu and uh, Zack as well. Cool. So we have Beast Hunter. Okay, in addition to being one of the best beast hunters on the mainland, Draven is a master of the spinning blade and also an incorrigible, incorrigible showboat. So that would probably mean really annoying showboat. This quality has led, led to many of his, of his hunting partners being in, <laughs> eaten, which he likes because it causes dramatic tension. So long as it's not him, who cares? So this is Draven here, smiling while obviously running away from this beast. Nice. Okay. Next one is Mecha Kingdoms. Draven. Hmm. Once a prom promising general of uh, Versentia, Draven no longer wished to fight for someone else's glory, which is obviously like his bio. Now living his best life as an independent mercenary, he has made a name for himself and his showmanship in battle. To this day, he has managed to acquire the resources necessary to craft an, av an Avalon. 
Let me read that again. To this day, how he managed to acquire the resources necessary to create an Avalon remains a mystery. Hmm, wonder what an Avalon is. And this is the Ruined. This is a really good skin as well. This is the Ruined. A showman, no matter the circumstance, Draven challenged Viego to a duel that the glorious executioner immediately lost, <laughs> resulting in his ruination. Why did that? Why? Why? Where's that? Did, why did they not put that in? Because obviously Draven, he's he's ruined now in terms of the law. Um, I would have loved to have seen that in the cinematic. That would have been perfect. Unlike his ruined brethren, um, little has changed about Draven save for a while white shock hair on his head and a slightly more very, um, vicious personality than usual. Hmm. So basically nothing's changed. Like it. Yeah, I would have loved to have seen that fight where he instantly lost lost after obviously trash talking Viego. In the legacy vault, whoa, we have Draven, Draven, not Draven, Draven. Okay, <laughs> whoa, okay, that's a bit of a weird one, but okay, that's that one. And we have, ah, uh, huh. we actually have Santa Draven. Wow, Draven always knew he would make the perfect Santa. He's handsome, his hair is incredible, he has a great sense of fashion, he's defeated hundreds of them in the Noxon fighting pits, and his flying axes are super sharp. The perfect Santa, more or less. Yeah, I'm sure that isn't the perfect Santa. Okay, so we have Santa Draven, and is that the last one? That probably, it looks like it. Yep, that is the last one. So, if I had to pick off the top of the dome, my favourite Draven, it would have to be... Do you know what? It would have to be... This one. I really like this one. Beast Hunter Draven. That's probably my favourite one. That would be number one. Ruined would be number two. And number three would have to be basically Bad Santa. Santa Draven would be number three. So they're my th top three in terms of skins. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through any of his special interactions if he has some. I'm sure he will. So I'm going to go through special interactions and then I'm going to go into his login theme. Let's go. Okay, so I couldn't find any special interactions. The sum for the card game uh, Legends of Ruin Terror. So I had to, I had to go through and react to this. This is the Draven Draven skin spotlight. So this should be, um, yeah, this should be fun. <laughs> Let's go. No idea what to expect with this. No doubt this will get some interactions or some kind of or voice lines at least. Like, <laughs> so basically it's just normal Draven with a big <laughs> head in essence. That is so weird. Can you imagine playing against that? That is comical. Draven does it all with style. That's shocking. Who wants some Draven? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's always smiling. Huh. I like you, St. Bolt. Okay. Okay. Hear that? Death's not. Places to go, me to see. <laughs> Places to go, me to see. Nice. Okay. Okay. Get to see some of his abilities here as well. I'm well aware of his ultimate. Let's put it that way. Don't be jealous. We go. Yep. Got axes. Need victims. What is that though? So it throws the sword, and if he catches it when it falls, I'm sure it'll explain itself in the spotlight. Water. No doubt. Watch and learn. Oh, 
Yeah, what is that? Does it give him like a boosted stats or something? Boosted speeds, maybe? It's kind of a little bit like Poppy in it, Poppy's shield, but maybe in reverse, instead of it providing shield, it's attack damage. I guess. And that is the end of Draven Draven. He is dead. Right, okay, that was interesting. That was pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move on to the login theme. Let's go. Hmm, this is the poor guy that got killed. Okay. Are they actually shouting Draven? Please tell me they're not. Please tell me they're not. of his blades right okay nice so clearly this is the fighting pits and the the, the chance of draven and the chance of the crowd as they scream his name because he's obviously the one that murders everybody else okay cool pretty short but i think this is one of his this is probably his base or his original login screen i don't think he's got another one but yeah it's short but pretty good so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to finish things off with his spotlight now his spotlight's pretty old it is pretty old let me warn you but at least it'll give me a flavor of his abilities. Obviously, we show it showcased some of them in the Draven Draven skin theme. So yeah, and without further ado, let's go. Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Draven, hmm. the glorious executioner. Ooh. Draven is a ranged physical carry built around throwing and catching spinning axes. Through his gameplay, Draven can dish out tons That's of nice. damage and Soul dominate Reaver. a game. That's pretty good, actually. Draven's passive yeah, is Wicked is. Blades. Here we go. Every time Draven lands a critical strike, his target starts bleeding, taking bonus damage over a few seconds. Spinning Axe causes Draven's next basic attack to deal bonus damage, apply Wicked Blades automatically, and ricochet off of his target. If Draven catches this ricocheted axe, his next basic attack will automatically throw another Spinning Axe. If Draven throws and catches axes long enough, he can have up to two spinning axes at once. Spinning ah. axe will lead Draven, so if he's standing Ooh. still, it will fall close by, and if he's running, it will fall along his path. As Draven's main damage tool, I take spinning axe at level one and max it immediately. Right, okay. Blood Rush grants Draven bonus movement and attack speed for a few seconds. If Draven catches spinning axe, Blood Rush's cooldown is immediately refreshed. As a major steroid and damage increase, I take one point in Blood Rush early and max it by level 13. Wow. Stand Aside Skills. throws Draven's axes in a line, damaging, slowing, and knocking aside all enemies they hit. Mostly providing utility, I take one point in Stand Aside early, but max it only by level 18. Okay. Draven's wow, ultimate is Whirling Death. Yeah. Draven throws two massive axes across the map, damaging all enemies they strike. If Whirling Death hits the edge of the map, an enemy champion, or Draven reactivates the ability early, these axes reverse direction and damage all enemies they encounter on the way back to Draven. Right. As with all ultimates, I take Whirling Death at level 6, 11, and 16. In early laning, try to harass your opponents by hitting as many spinning axes as possible. Use Blood Rush to catch them as they fall, or guide them by heading somewhere safe before spinning axe hits an opponent. Be aware that Wicked Blades will cause the turret to focus you, so stay out of range and harass as much as possible, constantly guiding Spinning Axe into safe zones to catch. In lane, sit with one Spinning Axe while last hitting minions, and keep catching it until you're ready to engage in battle. Draven heads in on Ezreal but doesn't fully commit because of Alistair. After Alistair uses his stun, Draven activates his second Spinning Axe. Keep Blood Rush active after every catch and keep throwing Spinning Axes. 
Alistair dies to wicked blades, and Cleanse keeps Draven from falling to ignite for a clean kill in bottom lane. When fighting against Draven in lane, crowd control is your best friend. As Draven opens onto Ezreal with spinning axe, Alistair rushes in with headbutt and pulverize, completely mm. stopping the push. Okay. Draven gets into a battle with Malphite. Slowing with stand aside while constantly fences. landing spinning axe and reactivating <laughs> blood rush old. drops Malphite's health pool extremely low. As Malphite runs away, Draven leads him with whirling death. While Malphite attempts to juke upward to escape the return blow, Draven does the same, making whirling death curl upward and still pick up the kill. Right. Draven is exceptional at cleaning up fights. As he gets into a battle, he finds Renekton low, picking him up with whirling death and a flash into a basic attack. Draven turns to hunt Alistair, hitting Blood Rush to catch up and prepare Spinning Axe. Constantly throwing and catching Spinning Axes allows Draven to continue Blood Rush, picking up two kills in the fight. In a team fight, Draven's first priority is positioning. Even though he could cleanly hit Shivana, he runs back behind his team until he can attack enemies from safety. This allows him to chase Shivana while catching Spinning Axes and then turn his attention to Rumble. Spinning Axe picks up a kill but instead of turning back to catch it, Draven charges forward to assist in the team fight. His team picks up the kill on Lulu and he heads in to chase down Ari. Udyr leads the charge and stuns her underneath her turret while Draven is able to assist in the fourth kill of the fight. To deal damage on the run, Draven hits champions with spinning axes, then turns so he can keep his distance from enemies, activating Blood Rush to speed up the process. Shivana is pushed away and then Draven turns to focus on Rumble. After Rumble falls, he keeps up with his team until finding Ari overextended. Hmm. Ari, he hits Ari with stand aside into spinning axe and a basic attack. Always overextended. Ari games. falls to wicked blades, and Draven comes out with a double kill. <clears throat> While normally Draven should catch spinning axes, do not turn to catch them in front of the enemy team. Draven turns to kill some minions with spinning axe. Unfortunately, walking back to catch one puts him right in range of Urgot, which gets him swapped and immediately killed. Right. Yeah. I recommend building Draven for physical damage output, with a splash of durability for small skirmishes where you'll end up taking damage. Splash of durability. For runes, I recommend flat attack damage marks, flat armor seals, magic resist per level glyphs, and flat attack damage quintessences. For masteries, I recommend 2190, focusing on physical damage increases in offense, plus bonus armor and health in defense. I recommend cleanse and flash for summoner spells, Cleanse. which will let you take out enemies and escape sticky situations. In Classic, I recommend opening with Boots of Speed and Health Potions. Take two Doran's Blades and add Berserker's Greaves. Buy Infinity Edge and add a Vampiric Scepter. I like this though. I like how they give kind of their recommendations of the route you should go. After immediately after. Yeah, it's pretty cool. From here, take Phantom Dancer, Last Whisper, Bloodthirster, and Guardian Angel to round out your build. In Dominion, I recommend opening with Boots of Speed, Prospector's Blade, and Health Potions. Add Berserker's Greaves, Infinity Edge, and a Vampiric Scepter before finishing your build with Phantom Dancer, Sanguine Blade, Last Whisper, and Frozen Mallet. Thanks for tuning in to the Draven Champion Spotlight. Okay, so that wraps it up. All things Draven. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> the spotlight was kind of old, but at least for me personally, it gives me a bit of, a bit of an appreciation of his abilities. No doubt there might have been tweaks since this point, but I get the gist of what's going on with them as well. So that was good. So yeah, hopefully uh, you guys actually enjoyed my thoughts and reactions and all things to do with Draven. Hopefully you enjoyed my thoughts to the, uh, to the login theme. Also his interactions, you could say, with the Draven Draven skin, this spotlight, and also his story and my review of the skins as well. And if you did, feel free to let me know. Feel free to like, comment, and maybe also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Obviously, I'm going to continue this theme of going through all the champions in Noxus off the top of the head. I can't remember who the next champion is for next Thursday, but it will be a champion from Noxus. That's a guarantee. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.